Hi guys, welcome back to the tool room. As you know, we've been working closely with Izzy Swan to develop a line of tools. One of those tools is a DPT wrench, a drill powered through wrench. We've already made one prototype and after some testing and evaluation of it, we decided that we can make it much better. So we made a more slender version, a much more robust version, and more importantly, a much faster version. So what I'm going to do today is walk you through some of the manufacturing of, of it. We're going to look at each and every part and then we're going to assemble it. So check it out. First things first, let's have a look at the new handle. First order of business making the handle is to get all the interior holes in it. As you can see right here, I'm roughing in the clearance holes for the gears. And here in a moment, I'll finish them on the rotary table. There's also four tapped holes to hold the black backing plates in place and also two dowel holes to align the plates. Here we're on the rotary table and I'm finishing the clearance holes for the gears. The next step after that is I have to cut a radius because we're going to mill a step for the backing plate to set in. This dimension has to be held close. Okay, here I'm milling the step on the plate or on the handle. And the step is the same on both sides. The reason we need the step is because the, the socket is only so long. So the dimension between the plates is critical. The socket must ride on both plates when it's in place in order for the wrench to work properly. Next, I'll mill the head of the, uh, of the handle. We'll cut the sides and mill the radius. After that, I'll mill the uh, grip part of the handle. We'll make it a little bit smaller and uh, we'll knock the corners off so it feels good in your hand. And we'll finish up by cutting the radius on the end. Next up is the backing plates. There are two for each wrench and they are identical. I want to make a note here. The finish on, this, on these plates is messed up and uh, this is my own personal wrench and uh, I've already had it together and messed around with it and it's all scraped up, scratched up from things I've done to it that I shouldn't have been doing to it. But uh, this is not indicative of what we'll produce. So this is my own personal use wrench. The plates, just like the handle, we'll go ahead and put the interior holes in here in the vise. And the large hole there on the left is, uh, is for the socket. It is held and uh, we'll finish that on the rotary table. And here we are on the rotary table finishing the uh, finishing the socket hole. And then the next step is to uh, machine the outside of the plate. Put the radius on it here. Zip down the sides for our final dimension. And then uh, move our fixture and put the radius on the other end. Next up is the drill drive gear. All the gears are made from solid pinion rod. They are all the same pitch, all the same tooth. Here I'm facing the uh, drill drive gear to length. The drill drive gear gets a quarter inch hex hole. So here you can see I'm broaching it using the knee on the mill to run the broach through. Next is the socket drive gear, which we had the uh, internal diameter cut with a wire EDM. Here I cut an internal groove for the socket retaining ring. And lastly, we have the intermediate gear. 
The intermediate gear has its own axles and is held steadfastly between the plates. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, assemble one here. The aluminum handle on the wrench has a type 2 anodize on it, which makes it a little bit tougher and a little more scratch resistant. All the steel parts, the backing plates and gears have been hardened and black oxided. After anodize, I take the uh, I take the wrenches to the uh, or I take the handles to the uh, laser etchers, and uh, the uh, all the lettering is laser etched onto the anodize. Uh, when you uh, laser anodize, it actually bleaches the anodize, so it's not a sticker, it's not uh, you know it's not a coating. Uh, well, it's a coating. It's the anodize coating. But uh, the laser just actually bleaches the anodize. So the, uh, the lettering is just a different color. It's the same green anodize. It, the laser just bleaches it. So it's seamless. And uh, you can clean the wrench up with uh, lacquer thinner. And uh, it should be very durable. And... Uh, and uh, you know, not totally scratch resistance, but, uh, but the anodized does help keep it from scratching up terrible. The wrench is smooth as silk and tough as nails. Izzy has instructed me to make the first 300 wrenches with his signature. So there will be a limited signature series on the wrenches for the first 300 customers. There will be a link in the description below straight to the, web, the website where you can purchase the wrench. I hope you'll take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future projects. And as usual, thanks for watching.